my name's Pete Gilbert. Um, welcome to my studio. It's a great space to work in. Uh, it's in the middle of the New Forest. I live in the New Forest uh, and I'm very privileged to live here. It's a great place to work. I don't paint plein air. I do do a lot of sketching outside, which I then bring back to, to here. Um, I have a couple of easels. This is, um, this is a tilting e easel right by the window. And behind me is a standard easel, which is uh, quite a nice place to work for slightly bigger pieces of work. If I'm working on canvases or abstracts or something like that, then I work on the bigger easel. At the moment, I'm working on a, on a series. I've been working for over a year uh, following uh, uh, the River Test, which is a river that a chalk stream that runs through um, Hampshire. Uh, brilliant place to paint. Um, I like to work on series of paintings. I tend to get a better feel of uh, the, the, pl the place itself, the actual sort of atmosphere. If you if you work on a series, uh, instead of just here, there, and painting different bits and pieces, I tend to work. Uh, Pretty much every day, uh, so I, I live just just across, you know, about two or three yards away. The house is just there, so I get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee. I'm usually in the studio by nine or even before nine, and I tend to sort of do a three or four hour stint if I'm working in the studio, uh, then lunch, and I come back and do a little bit more. Quite often, if I'm working, if I'm really in the zone on a painting that's that really needs a lot of concentration. Um, you can find me here until two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. I work really late sometimes just to get the to get the feeling of the place right. I'm lucky enough to have it. It's well lit. I've got a couple of proper daylight lights uh, by the side of the uh, easel, so I can work uh, on into the evening, um, which I do quite often. Uh, the studio is a great place to work. Um, I, I pr pretty much built it myself with the exception of the uh, roof timbers, which um, are, I'm not very big, so I couldn't do those. Uh, designed it uh, myself, so I, I worked out where I wanted to work and how I wanted to work. I've got a computer over there and you know, music and stuff like that and, and printers. But this is, this is the space I work here. It's a windows right the way along uh, on one side and in front. It's a double aspect. Up the top there, I've um, I've got I store a lot of canvases and, and various bits and pieces, art materials up in the loft, which I can get to quite easily. It's a fair old, I, I don't know, 20, 25 foot, something like that, by 14 feet across. It's still not really big enough. It was when I built it, but I've, I've the more I paint and the more I sort of I want more space, uh, I've more reference material is building up as the years go by. Um, and, and it's a, uh, but I do use it all. It's a, I have a, as I said, I have a, an easel at the back, which is a stand up easel. And I work on this one, which is a tilting easel. And I use my watercolors here and bigger oil paintings and acrylics on the, on the other easel at the back. So I do try to keep the sep uh, a sort of separate space for the two, um, drawings. I, I do where I'm usually sitting down, uh, at this, at this, uh, tilting easel here which can go flat and I quite like working that as well. Uh, it's warm enough in the winter, I've got a small heater, um, the windows aren't double glazed but it, you know it's it's fine, I don't like to be too hot anyway, it kind of you know you get a bit sort of sleepy. Um, I think coffee and work, <laughs> just and I could paint all day long. Mm -hmm.